Hi, I'm Andrew Shearer, and you're watching Talking Through the Trailers, brought to you by OnlineAthens.com. In this video, I'll be giving a little bit of trivia and insight on a couple of the new movies opening here uh, in Athens this week. Now, I haven't seen them, so these aren't reviews. It's just like the kind of first impression type of stuff that I'd annoy you with if we were sitting in a theater together during the previews. This one is called The Space Between Us. It's a really interesting hybrid of science fiction and young adult romance that they've been advertising pretty steadily for the last several months. It's about a teenage boy who has an internet girlfriend and he decides to go on a trip to visit her. The only catch is he was born in a colony on Mars and she's a high school student on Earth. So yeah, kind of a risky thing and there's Gary Oldman to tell you how risky it is. Uh, it stars Britt Robertson, who is in another movie that's out right now called A Dog's Purpose, but who I loved in a couple other recent movies like Mr. Church and Tomorrowland. If you didn't see Tomorrowland, I know a lot of people didn't because the ads weren't very good, but please see Tomorrowland. It's a really great film. She's really great in it. It's sci-fi for kids, but it is awesome, trust me. Uh, the Boy is played by Asa Butterfield from Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I know him best from a movie called Hugo, uh, the kids' film that Martin Scorsese made a couple years ago. I don't. See, I don't think a lot of people saw that either. But again, you you've got to see Hugo. I'm serious. Tomorrowland, Hugo. Those are great movies, and and these people are very good in those. Uh, the Space Between Us is directed by Peter Chelson, who had a big hit with the Richard Gere movie Shall We Dance in 2004. I think Richard Gere was in that. He did the Hannah Montana movie after that. But somewhere in his back catalog, though, is. Town and Country, the movie that bombed so hard it sent Warren Beatty into retirement for like 15 years. But this, this movie looks really good. Now, I don't think you need to be a teenager necessarily to know how it feels to be an alien in your own world. I mean, the themes here are the kind of stuff we can all identify with. And I like the metaphor they're using by making one of the characters a person who grew up on another planet and then comes to visit Earth for the first time. It's a good opportunity, sort of like how, well, sort of like how Mork and Mindy did when I was a kid, to show just how odd some aspects of our planet and our culture are. Not that most of you who will go see this know who Mork and Mindy are. Look it up on YouTube, though. Good stuff. Subtitles? If I wanted to read, I'd go get a book, man! No thanks. I'll go watch an American movie instead. Maybe Robocop or Basic Instinct. Something like that. Well, hey, guess what? The guy who made this movie? Paul Verhoeven, he made those movies too. And the script for this one was apparently so controversial, no one in Hollywood wanted to touch it. So that's why he made it in Paris. That's why it's in French. Elle is about the manager of a video game company who survives a violent assault in her home one night and spends the rest of the movie carrying out an elaborate revenge plot that we probably only get a small glimpse of here in the trailer for good reason. And that's about as specific as I can be about the plot in a, in a video that families might be watching. So, the movie stars Isabelle Huppert, who is nominated for an Oscar for Best Actress for her role here. She's been nominated for France's Oscar more times than any other actress. I think that makes her like the Meryl Streep of French movies, I guess. But she's one of my favorite performers, too. And believe me, she's no stranger to complex and challenging material like this. I can't right away think of anyone better suited for a Paul Verhoeven movie, actually. I first saw her in Michael Haneke's The Piano Teacher. It's a rough movie, and that's really saying something, considering Haneke is the guy who made funny games. Um, she was also in Abuse of Weakness by Catherine Breyat, probably one of the most brave and uncompromising filmmakers alive. I mean, in either case, don't watch these movies if you're looking for a feel-good film, you know, or something to sit down with your parents and watch, maybe. But these people are like the opposite of safe, by-the-numbers, cookie-cutter stuff. Things that are made by committee and focus groups. They're not necessarily going to be... If you're looking for that, you hit the jackpot here from the look of it. I'll just say that. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to the Cinemaphile podcast on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, and Downcast apps. And follow our Instagram at ABH Cinema and our Twitter at ABH Cinema. Thank you.